Hey, what's up YouTube? Just wanted to do another video for my carnivorous plant's journey. And I wanted to show you one of my favorite Nepenthes in my collection. This is my Nepenthes Rob Cantlii, and it's from a clone from Borneo Exotics. Um, what got me interested at first in Nepenthes, I'm sure you guys have seen the videos where, you know, people post on YouTube where their plants caught really big prey and this is one of the species that was capable of catching things such as rodents or bigger prey. And so I just, this this is one of the ones that brought me on this journey and it's one of my favorites in the collection because of that. And I just wanted to, you know, go, go through and show why it's a younger plant so we can see the progress of the plant over the months and hopefully over the years. Um, I got this one back in about April, so it was about four or five months ago the leaf jumps that these were the uh original pictures when i got it this one this one you know died right there this one was another original one that was uh that came on the plant but the leaf jumps this this one right here grew since it was in my care and this picture is the biggest picture that i have on the plant the next leaf that it grew out with the picture coming out on it has literally just about doubled the size of the previous one. And I'm hoping that in turn, it's gonna grow just monster, monster pictures on it. Um, you know, and obviously a, a plant that gets really big is why this one was really exciting. But I just wanted to try to get a video of it early so you guys can see, you know, the progress with it. Um, once again, you know, it has some dead pictures on it. I'm going to show just cleaning it up a little bit. Um, like I said in the previous video, I like to start ooh, sorry, with uh, cleaning the scissors first. And so I got a little spray bottle with alcohol and some scissors. And I always just kind of give a, a first spray before I ever cut anything on them. And this is to prevent any germs or bacteria or anything that could potentially hurt the plant or, you know, pathogen from uh, transferring from cutting old pictures and then cutting a, a, another plant. You don't want to, you don't want to spread anything. So now that these are cleaned off, I'm just going to go ahead and cut right where the uh, tendril is meeting the leaf. So that way this old picture doesn't continue to rot up the leaf and hopefully get in the plant. So we got that one to cut off. There is another little one hiding under here go ahead and just cut that off take it out right there there goes the two dead pictures on it and yeah I mean this is my uh one, like I said one of my favorites in my collection and it is just absolutely beasting out this is the new leaf right here and there's a new little baby picture the uh Peristome on the new one was really cool because like this was the original one when it came and the peristome or the uh, yeah the peristome the uh, lips right here didn't really like flare out and the new picture when it came out flared right out and just started to uh, you know get some really gorgeous colors to it really excited for this one and that is my Nepenthes Rob Cantley eye.